A new idea is taking a toehold in the running world and changing the look of the sport. Tanya English from WHYY's Health and Science Desk is here to tell us about this University of Delaware discovery. Tanya, it's all about the feet, right? All about the shoes, actually. You know that running can be very hard on the body. It turns out that weekend runners tell us and long-distance competitors tell us they get injuries all the time. Now comes a surprising discovery from Professor Irene Davis at the running clinic at UD. She found that runners can get relief not from fancy shoes, but by going barefoot. They're ready to give up their shoes, they're ready to give up their orthotics and try something new. Using 3D motion analysis, cameras and pressure scales, the researchers compared the foot mechanics of barefoot runners with those who wear shoes. If you look at barefoot runners, they do not land on their heel. And the reason that they don't is because it hurts. I mean, we don't have enough cushioning underneath our heel. Barefoot runners tend to strike the ground with the midfoot or forefoot and have a kinder, gentler gait. You can see that they land just barely on the ball of the foot with the heel slightly elevated. And then the heel comes down and then they push off. Davis says wearing modern shoes changes the way we run. With an elevated cushioned heel, shod runners are often extreme heel strikers. The researchers map the force of the body as the foot collides with the ground. The black line shows the initial abrupt impact of landing on the heel. The blue line shows the reduced impact of landing on the front of the foot. Davis says the jolt of landing on the heel travels up the body and over time can lead to injury. Let's allow the foot to function the way that it was meant to function. Let, let's allow all of those muscles of the feet to do what they were meant to do. You know that feeling like running out in your grandma's backyard on a summer evening? You forget what it's like to feel grass between your, your toes. Longtime runner John Flynn was nearly hobbled by injuries. Then he read Born to Run by barefoot enthusiast Christopher McDougall. So uh, I took off my shoes and I, I haven't put them back on in about a year. Come on, Eric, one more. Eric Macedo almost gave up the sport too. In high school and college, nagging leg problems and a series of surgeries kept Macedo from competing at the level he was used to. It was pretty sudden that I just wouldn't be able to, to run at a decent pace. Many podiatrists treat overuse injuries by propping up the arch of the foot. But Professor Davis, who's a physical therapist, says after an initial rest, she tries to get runners back on their bare feet. In the foot, we tend to want to just support it and, and accommodate that weakness. Um, as opposed to trying to increase the strength of those muscles. And, and that's, I think, a very big benefit of minimal footwear and barefoot lug motion. Eric Macedo made the switch to barefoot running and minimal shoes. As soon as I started wearing the Vibrams, that changed because if you strike the ground with your heel, it hurts. It sends a shock right up your body. So you immediately start running more towards your forefoot, it felt more natural right from the beginning. Then it has the, the sole that's more for a rugged terrain. Ed Camelli sells the Vibram Five Fingers brand at his store. He says the thin soles let the foot send back messages that seem to improve balance and body alignment. It's as close to being barefoot as you can be with still having some protection on your feet. So that's important. Hot pavement, stones, gravel, glass. You want to protect your foot, but you still get all the benefits of barefoot running. Emily, I stopped by Trill Creek Outfitters and tried on a pair of the foot gloves for myself. They're a little bit difficult to maneuver into at first, but very comfortable once you get them on. The store owner says they're now popular with lots of customers from beyond runners, from teachers who are on their feet all day to older people who just want to stay active. And Tanya, you mentioned some of the concerns with running shoes. Are there any health concerns with barefoot running or using the Vibrams? I guess the first thing is you should always check with your doctor before you start any new exercise program. The other thing is that uh, people who have diabetes or numbness of their foot probably want to skip this kind of exercise. And the third thing is um, barefoot running can tax some muscles that you're not used to using, so you have to kind of ease into it. And tell us more about minimal shoes. How are they different from running shoes? The biggest thing is just the look. Each of your toes has its own compartment, and that really helps you um, have more sway and balance, um, kind of messages sending from your foot to your brain as you're running. 
And I understand there is a Barefoot Runner Society here in Delaware. They're a little bit exclusive, but we have more information about them on our website. Great. Tanya, thank you so much. Tanya English has more on Barefoot Running on the first page at whyy.org slash Delaware and on our Health and Science page. <laughs>